we present an algorithm that computes the generalized Voronoi diagram on closely spaced collections of objects. Previous approaches use uniform gridding, which results in prohibitively large memory and processing requirements. Our approach is adaptive and can resolve even very tightly packed geometries. We begin by constructing an octree and subdividing until all cells intersect at most one object. We then expand a wave front, assigning closest objects and labels to octree vertices. Ambiguous cells are detected and resolved by further subdivision. Here, the generalized Voronoi diagram is shown in red. This representation shows each cell colored according to its contained object. This is the corresponding distance field. The same approach is used in three dimensions. Intersecting, embedded, and non-manifold objects are handled naturally. Disconnected objects are also supported. Each object in this heart defibrillation dataset has multiple connected components. Path planning is a popular application of the generalized Voronoi diagram. In this example, we demonstrate our algorithm's ability to find paths through vastly different scales of object spacings. The minimum path is shown in blue. Path planning also works in three dimensions. Our implementation uses Dijkstra's algorithm on the generalized Voronoi diagram mesh to find the min path through packed objects. Here, the path is represented by the chain of green spheres. By computing motion vectors with the generalized Voronoi diagram, the butter knife's path is guaranteed to not cause intersections with the knife block. Using the dual graph of the generalized Voronoi diagram, we can answer proximity queries. This example finds all brain neurons that share a Voronoi boundary with the neuron shown in red. Exploded diagrams are a useful tool for visualizing occluded objects. This example, using the rice dwarf virus, uses centroids to calculate dispersion vectors yielding non-intuitive motion. We use Voronoi diagram boundaries to compute the vectors.